How you doing? Tonight we are the Troubadour with Church Nine. So tell us what's happening tonight, fellas. What's up, man? Uh, we're playing at the Troubadour. This is the tour kickoff show for Cage 9, Dead Horse Trauma, Straight Line Stitch, and Dead Bolts. Uh, we're going to be on the road together for the next six weeks. We're calling it the Dog Days of Summer Tour. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, forecast says it's going to be a good time. What do you think, Matt? I think it's going to be pretty awful, actually. No. <laughs> it's pretty it's gonna be amazing. It's going to be amazing. We're starting off here at a historic Troubadour. This is going to be sick. It's going to be great off the hook. A lot of energy. Um, a lot of smiles, a lot of people are going to be leaving very happy, I think. Awesome. So, how many dates do you have for this tour? I think there's about 30 dates right now. We're still uh, picking up more shows on the way back. We end with these guys in, I think it's like Illinois or something. And then uh, we'll continue on. We have a festival we'll be playing with Andrew WK, uh, Filter, Tantric, and then we'll be kind of making our way back to LA. So we'll be passing through Montana, Utah, which, you know, some of those like states where there's not as much going on. It's like, you know, those are some of the best shows. In fact, I think like our biggest fan base is in Idaho. And I love playing in Idaho. I mean, the people there are like so pumped, you know, they love to see out there. Yeah, they're crazy. They're crazy people in Idaho. Oh, Can you tell us about your most recent production that um, you just released, what was it, a year ago? Yeah, it's been a little over a year. We have uh, our new record is called How to Shoot Lasers from Your Eyes. Uh, it's available in Japan, which is actually the main motivation for us making it. We had been kind of like slowly making our way towards finishing an album, and we have a label in Japan that was like, you know, we're gonna, you take it so long, we're gonna go ahead and just release one of your old records. I was like, okay, give me a week, I'll finish this. So we put it out, How to Shoot Lasers from Your Eyes, pick it up online, uh, it's available bandcamp.com, it's iTunes, uh, the usual places. I hear it's on Pirate Bay and things like that, I don't know. So tell us, what are one of the most, uh, some of the most memorable moments that you guys had with this band uh, recently? Uh, definitely for me is the Panama show. Uh, it's my first huge band uh, experience with these guys, so that was probably mine. What you for? Well, we opened for Bad Religion last weekend in Panama. Yeah, I'd say it's one of the best shows we've ever played. It was so fun. Uh, it was like an amazing venue basically out on an island in front of Panama City you know like the winds blowing at your back there's just like a breeze yeah. it was awesome and you know obviously just the honor to open for Bad Religion is amazing I mean you know Bad Religion is like the godfathers of punk basically and they killed it too they did a great job the stage was awesome lighting was great sound was great it was just everyone in the crowd went nuts it was just a lot great trip and for those of you that don't remember, they also opened for Ozzy Osbourne, was it a couple years ago? Yeah. That was, a, that was a great show. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. That was also in Panama. I was in a, a similar venue down there. It was pretty awesome. I would say I would say I had more fun at this show, but there was nothing more epic than opening for Ozzy. I mean, it was like it was like a high-pressure show, you got to admit. I mean, opening for Ozzy Osbourne, you got to bring it. So, I mean, it was a great show, and it was, it was huge. I would, generally, when people ask me, what is the most memorable show you've ever played, and I will hands down say, Opening for Ozzy Osbourne. So we just released a video called Million Miles Below the Earth about two, three months ago. We had a video release party at Loaded in Hollywood. Went off. Rock and Roll Industries. Courtesy of Rock and Roll Industries. Standing room only. That place went off. So check that out on YouTube for sure. Yeah. YouTube.com, Cage9. Million Miles Below the Earth. Look at, you gotta type that in in the search. A million miles below the Earth, K Time. German version, I think. It's the Earth. And for those miles. and for those of you that don't or haven't had a chance to uh, pick up uh, El Motivo, there's also the Spanish version of that. It's one of my it's one of my favorite all time albums. Oh, thank you, man. And uh, it, I, I just love the fact I always share with people how you nailed it. Like the lyrics in Spanish. for those of us that understand Spanish and English, it's just on point. I've seen some translations of songs and most of the time they don't make sense, but you, you guys really nailed it. Yeah, we kind of like, we sort of disregarded what the song was originally like, like word for word and what it was in English and we kind of went more with the vibe 
and sort of vibed off the way we translated it. So I think it kind of it, it kind of took it to a different place. And we still play those songs. Actually, tonight I, I suspect we'll be because since we just came off the Panama show, we played a bunch of the Spanish songs. So tonight we'll probably mix it up a little bit and bust out a couple. I, I, there's a couple songs that I'll play like the majority of it in English, and then I'll just like do like a chorus and a verse in Spanish, and people you know that aren't expecting it will always be like, All right, what is what is what's going on here? Am I just really drunk, or is he speaking another language? In Espanol, this yeah. will be a highlight of of my. Um, of my career, if I can say, sing with Evan. Well, thank you guys for your time. We wish you the best on this summer tour. I know you guys kick ass. Please check out Cage 9 again. It's one of my absolute favorite bands ever. Uh, not because they're talented, but they're super energetic on stage. It's one of the things I love about this band the best. Again, thank you guys. Thank you. Rock Around the Street salutes you. Rock out tonight and end this tour. And check them out. Please do so. Pick up their CDs, their singles on Amazon, CD Baby, and all iTunes, these iTunes. Everywhere. All right. Everywhere. And uh, for those Spanish speaking countries, Cage 9, and uh, anything for your Spanish speaking um, audience? Uh, un gran saludo a los amigos en, uh, en México, en Panamá, en Costa Rica, en Colombia. Nos vemos pronto. Esperamos que lo podemos eh, venir a tocar para ustedes. Y uh, siguen sintonía de Rock and Roll Industries Magazine. Nos vemos. Rock on. <laughs>